food and farming. The UK's food system is failing to serve the interests of citizens, whether they are farmers or consumers. Too many families simply can't afford enough healthy, nutritious food. Ultra-processed foods high in saturated fat, sugar and salt are usually much cheaper than healthier foods, contributing to serious health problems, especially among poorer households. Farmers are the key allies in tackling climate change and the nature crisis, caring for and restoring the countryside while producing high-quality food for our tables. But their ability to do this is threatened by the Conservative government's botched transition away from the basic payment scheme. We support the move to public money for public goods, but many farmers are seeing their incomes threatened as old payments are cut and new payments are not fully rolled out or properly funded. Meanwhile, farmers have had to contend with increases in bills for energy, fertilisers and feed. It's hardly surprising we've seen food shortages in the supermarkets. The Conservatives' botched deal with the EU is also contributing to food shortages and higher food prices and severely damaging farmers and fishers' ability to export their main markets in Europe – while new trade deals undermine animal welfare and environmental protection, undercutting responsible British farmers and setting a dangerous precedent for future deals. Liberal Democrats will stand up for British farmers and ensure everyone can get affordable, healthy and nutritious food produced to high welfare and environmental standards. We will introduce a holistic and comprehensive national food strategy to ensure food security, tackle rising food prices, end food poverty and improve health and nutrition. Accelerate the rollout of the new environmental land management schemes, properly funding it with an extra $1 billion a year to support profitable, sustainable and nature-friendly farming. Maintain high health, environmental and animal welfare standards in food production and guarantee that all future trade deals will meet them too, ensuring that Britain's farmers and food manufacturers are not put at an unfair disadvantage. Give Britain's farmers the ability to trade with our European neighbours with minimal need for checks by negotiating comprehensive veterinary and plant health agreements. Support farmers properly in restoring woodland, peatland and waterways, creating new natural flood protections and managing land to encourage species recovery and carbon storage whilst producing food for the table. In addition, we will give farmers and fishers a fair deal by introducing a range of other public money for public goods programmes, such as nature recovery, planting trees and protecting wildlife, contingent on farmers and land managers opting in to an environmental land management scheme. Exploring additional funding options to ensure an intelligent transition to better farming practices. Investing in rural and coastal infrastructure and services, including local abattoirs, so that communities are viable and can attract and retain workers, particularly from younger age groups. Using public procurement policy to support the consumption of food produced to high standards of environmental and social sustainability and which is nutritious, healthy and locally and seasonally sourced. Renegotiating the Australia and New Zealand trade agreements in line with our objectives for health, environmental and animal welfare standards, withdrawing from them if that cannot be achieved. Ensuring that sustainability lies at the heart of fisheries policy, rebuilding depleted fish stocks to achieve their former abundance, including a ban on bottom trawling in marine protected areas. Fishers, scientists and conservationists should all be at the centre of a decentralised and regionalised fisheries management system. Strengthen the Groceries Code Adjudicator to protect consumers from unfair price rises and support producers. Ensure our farming and food system is on an environmentally sustainable footing by ensuring farmers receive proper independent advice about how to transition to new environmental farm payment schemes with proper funding for advice services. Supporting farmers to reduce pollution of rivers, streams and lakes. 
working with and rewarding farmers to reduce the use of costly imported and environmentally harmful artificial fertilisers and pesticides, helping to protect bees and other pollinators. Introducing a research and innovation fund to support new and emerging technologies in the sector, including the development of alternative proteins in which the UK can become a world leader. Give consumers confidence in the food they eat by providing local authorities with greater powers and resources to inspect and monitor food production. Ensuring all imported food meets UK standards for health and welfare and that goods are properly checked. Introducing robust and clear-to-understand food labelling. Ensure Britain continues to be a world leader in animal welfare and standards by passing a comprehensive new animal welfare bill to ensure the highest standards possible. Ensuring that no animal product that would be illegal to produce in the UK can be sold here, including foie gras and food produced with antibiotic growth promoters. Developing safe, effective, humane and evidence-based ways of controlling bovine tuberculosis, including by investing to produce workable vaccines. Improving standards of animal health and welfare in agriculture, including a ban on caged hens and preventing unnecessarily painful practices in farming. At least matching the EU's stricter rules on preventative use of antibiotics and introducing a comprehensive plan to tackle antimicrobial resistance in farm animals. Promoted by Liberal Democrats. 1 Vincent Square, SW1P, 2PN.